you are into student education on teenage pregnancy, HIV, climate change, antimicrobial resistance, and youth empowerment. And we've been going to school and we giving them lectures on this thematic area. Today we are here in Laboni and we are here to engage you on antimicrobial resistance and HIV AIDS. We've given you some questionnaires on which are on your table. They are not examinable. Just show them as fast as you can. Then give your pay to your colleague who didn't bring you to a pen for him also to uh, complete the form. Make sure you fill it. If you don't know, just write what you know and just leave it. And I want you to pay rapid attention. Yesterday we had a blazer and they did wonderful. And I believe Laboni, you guys you are going to do amazing. So please pay rapid attention. By the end of the day, you'll we'll have the interview. You'll just tell us what you learned and how you are going to apply. So this time I'll invite uh, Dr. Sumi to take us. Thank you, Dr. I'd like the room to be very quiet so that we can have a good interaction. We are coming to talk about a little technical things which has been made very simple and practical for you to understand. Okay, so please pay attention. My name is Dr. Enim Edu. Um, I'm a pharmacist with the Ghana Police Service. Okay, and then I'm with an NGO called PTFT. We look into some of the issues the first speaker, the second speaker spoke about. Okay. Today we are coming to talk about antimicrobial resistance. Basically, okay, um, antimicrobials are medications that are used to treat infections. Common infections include malaria, a cough or an infectious cough, typhoid. Okay, any infection at all that you can think about, we need these medications to let you know that there is something going on that is even dangerous than COVID. Okay, that is killing a lot of people in the US, in the UK, in the whole world, and is dangerous than COVID. WHO recently declared it as a pandemic as well, just like COVID. And so that is why we are saying that it is a global public health concern. Okay, if you cast your mind to an era where you go to the hospital, you are sick, we give you medicines and it's not working. What do you do? What happens? It means that we are all going to die. We create the awareness, we take the knowledge that we've acquired to our homes. Let's talk to our parents, let's talk to our brothers. When you are given medications from the hospital, antibiotics, take them as prescribed. Even if you feel better and the doctor says seven days, take them for seven days, okay? It is very important. So please, let's take note of this. Thank you very much. So please, it's time for HIV. Pay rapid attention, then we are good to go. Thank you, Madam Linda. Yes. Miss Gifty, let's give it up for her. Okay, good morning to everyone once again. So today we are talking about HIV and AIDS. I believe everyone has heard about it before. I'm saying, my boss said you should have stayed at all, okay? So, and also when you are having sexually transmitted diseases such as syphilis and all these things, it's a way to have HIV because when you are having this infection, it uh, causes inflammation around your uh, genital areas, cracks and all that. And with the cracks, when you have sex or intimate with someone who is HIV positive, you can also have that, okay? And also, we have uh, needle breaks and injections and all that, okay? So we we'll go to the prevention, that is the abstinence from sex, okay? And also, avoid unhealthy sexual relationships. And also be tested, okay? I believe after this one, when you go home, you get your HIV test done, okay? And also concentrate on your studies. As students, you have to concentrate on your studies. And also devote your time to advocate and educate your peers. So as we have come here to educate everyone here, I hope and believe that when you go to your houses and even uh, on school campus, you can also advise your peers on HIV, okay? And also engage in healthy activities like reading, 
joining a club, not just any club, but a club that can give you an educational benefit, okay, and also sports, and also focus on what you want to become in the future, because your parents brought here, you here to study, so I believe that you are going to make them proud, okay, so this is the end of my presentation, thank you very much. Yes, so we are done and I hope you've learned something. So by hand, if you've learned something today on antimicrobial resistance and HIV. God bless you. Okay, so what's your name? Eugene. Okay, so I want you to tell me what you learned today. Okay, so initially I used to think that those who have having HIV, like sharing carbs, kissing, hugging with them, like they are going to spread the disease by okay. now. I've learned that we should just stigmatize them. Okay. We can be hugging them as friends. I'm sharing things with them. What's your name? I'm Stephanie Owusu. Okay. So when you go out today, what are you going to tell your friends about what you learned today? I'm going to encourage them to take and um, take in their antibiotics that have been prescribed by the doctors because I'm also a victim of that. I mostly don't finish my antibiotics which have been prescribed by a doctor. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, my dear. So what's your name? Wehamina Elinam Acha. Okay. So what did you learn today? And I learned the term antimicrobial resistance, okay. which is your body um, developing a resistance to certain um, medic medications because of the inconsistency in taking medicines. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Joanna Aglama Okay, so how are you going to apply what you learned today? Okay, for me, I'm going to keep reminding myself that teenage pregnancy is a no no and the best thing for me is to abstain. I'm also going to advocate it to my fellow girls that the best way to focus on life is to avoid them. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Ellie Christine So how are you going to apply what you learned today when you go to the house? Well, I'm going to make sure that I'm not abusing drugs because before I really used to take a lot of antibiotics and then rather I've seen a lot of side effects. Okay. So I'm going to watch the way I take them and also I'm going to have an HIV test since they said it, we should take it no matter what. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what's your name? Etienne for Roberta. Okay, so what did you learn today? Okay, I learned a lot about antimicrobial. And I learned that there are um, drugs taken for uh, infections caused by bacteria, fungi, and so on. And I learned that when you um, are given drugs for these infections, you are supposed to be consistent and be taking them as usual. Okay. Like when you are given like seven days to take them, don't take them. And let's say before seven days comes, then you'll be like, oh, I'm okay, so I will not take it again. It's supposed to take it till it's done. If seven days, then it's done. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Personally, what have you learned? Oh, for me, I've learned that you know, the spread of HIV is very um, growing up. Growing up. Yeah. And for a person to get the virus, yeah. that means the person is like having going to have sex with an infected person yeah. for you to get a virus and also it's not only the sex. Yeah. If once we want to um, the virus, yeah. you can use condoms. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah, Dave Adams. Today we've had interactions on um, HIV AIDS and antimicrobial resistance. I want you to tell me personally what you are taking home. I learned about the HIV. I learned about the costs and the effects and how it can reduce. I, mean, I learned that the, one of the ways to reduce this is by having better sex and educating people on the dangers and on the HIV AIDS. And I learned that the way HIV is can be, it can be transmitted. Okay. It's true of the sense. And if someone cuts and uses a sharp object yeah. and cuts himself, and also uses it in a place where you've been wounded, yeah. it can be transmitted. Okay. What about HIV AIDS? Personally, what have you heard and what are you going to do with what you have heard? Um, uh, uh, what I've learned is that HIV is a a disease that is true contact of blood. Yeah. I've learned that we should, uh, we, we should be careful of what we use that way, like 
through uh, black contact and also when having sex or vision, you should use a uh, uh, condom and protection of ourselves. Can you tell me a little of what you have heard during this interaction? Today I learned about AMR uh, and antimicrobial resistance. Sure. And what I learned is I'm one of those people who take who don't take drugs consistently. Okay. Like, I take two days when I say that I'm okay. But what I've learned today, I've learned that you have to you have to follow up. You should do it. Okay. You should finish to the end. Alright. Presenting the future today. Presenting the future today.